Hi everyone, Lee Goldstein here for 10 Minute Trades. And the trade I should have taken is always the hardest video to make because what can be worse than regretting something you didn't do that probably caused you not to make a lot of money? Sit back and let me show you which trade tortured me this week. On the weekly schedule, I had put the New Zealand official bank rate. That's their rate statement when it's like their FOMC statement. I didn't have a trade room for it, but I knew it was an event that was going to move the New Zealand dollar. Now, over the years, the New Zealand dollar has been difficult in that it's been low in liquidity, meaning there's not always orders and there could be high slippage. But we have been seeing a change. The New Zealand dollar has a lot more volume than it ever had before, and it is definitely becoming more tradable. I wanted to trade this report. It was a little bit late at night. I was tired. I took that night and I didn't schedule the trade room. Look at this beautiful move. The New Zealand rate did not change. It stayed at five and a half percent, but the move was fantastic because of the comments that the central bank was making. It was an easy, easy, large winning trade, able to expand the targets multiple times trail the stop definitely the trade i should have taken those are the most fun trades to trade when it just goes in your direction keeps going you trail your stop you increase your targets nothing better the new zealand rate statement was the trade i should have taken it's still bothering me a little bit today i shouldn't admit that but it is everybody come into the trade room learn the opportunities you should take with us so that next time we'll take the new zealand rate statement we'll take new zealand retail sales and cpi and gdp that's what we're going to do because their 6n currency future is tradable everybody i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you soon in the trade room lee goldstein signing out for 10 minute trades